I just want to want to thank the people of Pennsylvania. As you know, you supported me in the primaries, and then you supported me in the general election. I love Pennsylvania. I went to school in Pennsylvania. I went to the Wharton School of Finance at University of Pennsylvania, and I loved it. I loved it. And, you know, Joe Biden likes to say he's from Pennsylvania, but he's not. His family abandoned Pennsylvania. I guess he was about 10 years old, maybe. And they moved to Delaware. He's not from Pennsylvania. He left Pennsylvania. You know, when he comes around, he only goes to Delaware to make speeches. He goes back to the basement. But he goes to Delaware to make speeches. But, you know, it's crazy. He is uh, saying he's from Pennsylvania, and it's wrong. His family left Pennsylvania many years ago when he was... I believe, 10 years old, and they moved to Delaware. So it's not only isn't he from Pennsylvania, but he left Pennsylvania. And I'll never let Pennsylvania down. I've done things that nobody thought were possible with your plants, your factories, your steel. Steel was a dead business, and now they're expanding steel. And by the way, we'll catch up to where we left off very soon because the China virus, obviously, it set us back a little bit. But we're going to be – next year will be a better year. I believe next year – will be a better year than last year because things are looking that way. Once we get our country open, there's tremendous enthusiasm. And you see that in the job numbers, the retail sale numbers, and every other number. So I just hope you can get out and vote on November 3rd. It's been a great honor to speak to you, especially because it happens to be Pennsylvania. We're doing a real job. I've never let you down. We've done much more than I said I was going to do. And now we're going to do it again. We said, make America great, and we're making it again, and now we're doing it a second time. So I just want to thank you. We're putting America first. We're putting America above all these nations that have ripped us off for years, stolen our jobs. They've taken our plants, our factories. They make our product. We sell it. They sell it back to us. No taxes, no nothing. And they made it impossible. All of that's changed, and you see it's changed at a level that nobody has ever thought possible, including the biggest job numbers we've ever had in our country. So Pennsylvania, November 3rd, and it's an honor to speak to you and have a good rest of the day. I will see you soon. I'll be there soon. And we'll be talking again before the big event, November 3rd. Thank you all very much. Great honor.